AI scientists are having more and more trouble understanding how their artificial intelligence models actually work, and as they're becoming more powerful and enter several vital positions in the government and healthcare, people are starting to worry about losing control of them which is becoming a huge problem. This problem has become very apparent in a recent incident in which an AI has practically gone rogue which I will try to explain throughout this video. Deep learning neural networks, which are at the heart of current artificial intelligence, are sometimes referred to as black boxes since their inner workings are opaque. However, recent study throws that notion into doubt, with substantial consequences for privacy. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you in which ways the difficulty to understand our artificial intelligence programs is starting to become dangerous, how people are trying to solve this problem, and finally, how AI like this is likely to influence our society. In contrast to traditional software, which has its function specified by the creator, neural networks learn how to process or interpret data by training on examples. They accomplish this by constantly altering the strength of the connections between their numerous neurons. By the conclusion of this procedure, their decision-making process has become entangled in a tangled web of links that can be difficult to follow. As a result, it's commonly considered that even if you have access to the model, it's very hard to figure out what data the system was trained on. According to MIT Technology Review, a pair of recent articles have called this assumption into question by demonstrating that two quite distinct methodologies may be employed to identify the data on which a model was trained. This might have major consequences for AI systems that have been trained on sensitive information such as medical records or financial data. The first technique targets generative adversarial networks, often known as GANs, which are the AI systems underlying deepfake pictures. These technologies are increasingly being utilized to generate synthetic faces that are ostensibly unconnected to real persons. However, researchers from France's University of Caen Normandy shown that they could readily match produced faces from a popular model to real persons whose data was used to train the GAN. They accomplished this by using a second facial recognition model to compare the created faces to training samples in order to determine if they had the same identity. The photographs aren't an exact match because GAN altered them, but the researchers discovered several instances when created faces were clearly related to images in the training set. They note out in a report explaining the discovery that in many situations, the produced face is merely the same face in a new posture. While the technique is tailored to face generation GANs, the researchers point out that similar concepts may be used to biometric data or medical photos. However, another, more generic technique to reverse engineering neural networks may do this right away. NVIDIA researchers demonstrated that they can deduce the data on which the model was trained without even seeing samples of the learned data. They utilized a technique known as model inversion, which essentially runs the neural net in reverse. This approach is frequently used to evaluate neural networks, however it has only been used to recover input data on basic networks under extremely narrow sets of assumptions. The researchers revealed how they were able to scale the method to huge networks by breaking the task up and performing inversions on each of the network's layers individually in a recent study. They were able to reconstruct training data pictures using only the models themselves using this method. While carrying out each assault is a difficult procedure that necessitates extensive knowledge of the model in question, both demonstrate that AIs may not be the black boxes we assumed they were and that dedicated attackers may extract potentially sensitive information from them. Given how simple it is to reverse engineer someone else's model using your own AI, having access to the neural network isn't even that much of a hurdle. The issue isn't limited to image-based algorithms. Researchers from a group of technology businesses and universities demonstrated last year that they could extract news headlines, JavaScript code, and personally identifying information from the big language model GPT-3. Assume someone programmed an AI system with intelligence greater than that of humans, so that it could learn on its own. When connected to the Internet, the AI may gain access to all of humanity's data. It has the ability to replace all existing applications and take control of any Internet machines globally. Will this result in a utopia or a dystopia? Would AI be able to heal illness, provide world peace, and avert a climatic disaster? Or would it annihilate humans and take over the world? Computer scientists and philosophers have questioned whether we would be able to govern a superintelligent AI at all. 
ensuring it did not constitute a threat to mankind. An worldwide team of computer experts utilized theoretical calculations to demonstrate that controlling a super-intelligent AI would be essentially impossible. A super-intelligent computer that rules the planet sounds like something out of a science fiction novel. However, there are already computers that can accomplish certain crucial jobs on their own without programmers completely comprehending how they did so. The concern then becomes whether this will eventually become uncontrolled and detrimental to humanity. Scientists have investigated two potential approaches to controlling a superintelligent AI. On the one hand, superintelligent AI's capabilities could be specifically limited, for example, by isolating it from the internet and all other technical devices so it has no contact with the outside world. But this would render the superintelligent AI significantly less powerful, less able to answer humanity's quests. In the absence of such option, the AI may be programmed to pursue only goals that are in the best interests of humans from the start, for example, by encoding ethical ideals into it. However, the researchers demonstrate that these, as well as other modern and historical approaches to regulating super-intelligent AI, have limitations. The scientists devised a theoretical containment mechanism in their work that assures a super-intelligent AI cannot hurt people under any circumstances by modeling the AI's behavior up front and stopping it if it is deemed detrimental. However, close examination reveals that such an algorithm cannot be developed in our present computer paradigm. When the problem is reduced to simple concepts from theoretical computer science, it becomes clear that an algorithm that would instruct an AI not to kill the planet may mistakenly terminate its own activities. Whether this occurred, you would have no way of knowing whether the containment algorithm is still studying the danger or if it has ceased attempting to contain the hazardous AI. Based on these calculations, the containment problem is incomputable, which means that no one algorithm can determine if an AI will cause harm to the planet. Furthermore, the researchers show that we may not even know when superintelligent computers have arrived since determining whether a machine is intelligent enough to outperform humans falls under the purview of the confinement problem. Not every projection, though, is as dismal. Some are quick to point out that there is no indication that superintelligent robots are poised to wipe out the human species at this time. The terrifying, futurist representations of artificial intelligence that dominate films and literature and mold the common imagination are imaginary according to the article, Artificial Intelligence and Life in 2030, by Stanford University's AI 100 Standing Committee. In actuality, AI is already altering our daily lives, nearly exclusively for the betterment of human health, safety, and productivity. While the potential for AI technologies to be abused must be recognized and handled, their larger potential includes, among other things, making driving safer, assisting children in learning, and extending and improving people's lives. In reality, positive AI uses in schools, households, and hospitals are already expanding rapidly. Others are emphasizing the need of designing systems in such a way that malevolent intent may be detected. According to a Google DeepMind research scientist's research article, Safely Interruptible Agents, AI agents in the actual world are unlikely to perform ideally all of the time. If such an agent is operating in real time under human supervision, it may be necessary for a human operator to press the big red button every now and then to prevent the agent from continuing a harmful sequence of actions, harmful for the agent or the environment, and to guide the agent into a safer situation. As a result, the paper's safe interruptibility framework focuses on designing a system that allows the human operator to have ultimate control and, if necessary, remove the AI agent from a dangerous situation, or even temporarily use it to perform a task it did not learn to perform or would not normally be rewarded for. These challenges will only grow more important as AI systems make their way into sensitive industries such as healthcare, banking, and defense. Some solutions are on the horizon, such as differential privacy, in which models are trained on statistical properties of aggregated data rather than individual data points, or homomorphic encryption, an emerging paradigm that allows computation directly on encrypted data. However, these techniques are still a long way from being normal practice, so giving your data to the black box of AI may not be as safe as you believe for the time being. So, what is your opinion on scientists slowly losing control of their creations? Do you believe that as we understand more of the human brain, we'll be starting to regain control about artificial intelligence models which are ever increasing in both responsibility and abilities? How do you picture a world which is practically run by machines that we don't fully understand? 
please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.